This is the new GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate 3500 HD. It makes 470 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque. But how much of that gets to the road? We're about to find out. This is GMC's ultimate truck. It says so right here. And you're going to see, it's quite a package. At the time of this recording, there's only two of them in California. Let me take you through the features. Up front, we've got their newly redesigned LED headlamps. There are 14 cameras. I can't find them all, but it enables you to see right through your trailer. And I kind of like these retractable steps with LED lighting. First of all, I'm into the sound system. It's a 12 speaker Bose. Their stuff rocks, that's all I can say. And the wood trim is kind of interesting. It's Paldau wood. I think it's from New Guinea or somewhere like that. And I can see from here, there's unexpected artwork machined into the glove box door. Kind of cool. You've got two screens in here, a 12 and a half inch driver information center and a 13 and a half inch infotainment center. And around the back, the famous MultiPro tailgate and 16 way power front massaging seats. As for the new 2024 Duramax L5P engine, in a previous video, we tore that puppy down and compared it to the 2023 L5P. To give you a quick rundown, the, the 2024 L5P features a new turbo and vane actuator, new pistons with tapered bowls for more thorough combustion, new cylinder heads with improved water jackets, higher pressure fuel injectors, new fuel rails to handle the increased pressure, improvements to the glow plugs, improved engine braking thanks to upgraded valve springs, and a brand new engine control module featuring Global B architecture with hardened encryption. But now it's time to bark this beast. So let me show you what we're doing here. On the front, we've got our Banks wind machine, which is kind of homebrew, but we, we did this like 15, 18 years ago. This setup gives you road velocity airflow at 40,000 CFM. So 60 mile an hour air right into the nose of the vehicle, just like you're driving down the street. The heat load under the hood has to be as you drive it down the road. We don't test with a hood up and a house fan in front of the vehicle. That just does not get it. The beauty of the chassis dyno is you remove all of the headwind one day, tailwind another day, traffic patterns, all those variables are gone, weather, whatever. We try to go every 50 RPM, just like you're on an engine dyno. But here we're measuring the powertrain losses, and what you get right to the road surface. The hood's down, guys. You might notice that. If you're running an air intake system, aftermarket air intake system, with an open element air filter under the hood, or an air filter with a little plastic or, or aluminum or sheet metal fence around it, it's getting under hood air. Under hood air on an 80 degree ambient day can be 180 degrees. You don't want the engine inhaling hot air, it diminishes power. You might ask, what's with a big ass bag of sand in the back? Well, we don't want it to get too tail happy, start spinning the wheels on the rolls. So to keep the tires and the rollers cool, we've got these two wall mount blowers, eight eight inch tubes under the slab and into the pit to cool the rollers and the tires and also the dyno absorber units under the yellow covers. Everybody, meet Robert. Robert, meet everybody. What we're going to do today 
starting at the horsepower peak around 2800 RPM, will load up to the horsepower peak and then pull the RPM down using the dyno. One thing people talk about is this horsepower peak and torque peak thing. The torque peak on this engine is at 1600 RPM. As you will see, you can never use that torque peak. Why is that? Because at wide open throttle, it backshifts at about 2150 RPM. But what's important is the rise in torque as you pull down or lug to that backshift point. What's the torque at the backshift point? That's the peak torque you can use. The only way you can ever use the 1600 RPM torque peak is in first gear, and this is a 10 speed. You don't spend a lot of time in low gear with a 10 speed, unless you're pulling a very heavy load of a very steep grade. So guys, you'll never hit that 1600 RPM torque peak because the truck won't let you. It's going to backshift before you get there. So without further ado, let's build some heat in this puppy. That was a good first run. Let's pull another one and a third one. So just so you know, this truck is a virgin. It's got about 1,600 miles on it. Uh, it'll just get better. Three runs, we're gonna average them out here, and uh, okay. At 2,800 RPM, at the horsepower peak, which was about 78 miles an hour, we were making 420 horsepower and the torque at the horsepower peak was 788 pound-feet. I think I need my cheaters. Uh, as he pulled it down, it backshifted right about 2150. The rear wheel horsepower at that point was 368 and the torque was 898, almost 900. Now remember, we have drivetrain loss. The advertised numbers 
are at the flywheel before the transmission, before the torque converter. Going through those parts of the drive shaft, the 4x4, you're spinning the transfer case, and finally getting to the ground. The numbers I'm giving you are at the ground. Well, what's important here is the torque increase or torque rise from the torque at the horsepower peak, 788, to the torque at the back shift point, 898. That's lugging ability. It increased the torque by 110 pound-feet, or 14%. If you're a long-haul trucker, or you buy Class 8 tractors, or whatever, you talk torque rise. That's a lugging ability of that, those big 14, 15, 16 liter diesel uh, engines. People buy pickup trucks, never talk torque rise. I'm gonna start talking torque rise for pickups right here. 14% torque rise is damn respectable. But once again, we'll never know what the torque is at 1600 RPM because the truck won't let you get there. It's just a brag no number. You'll never experience it. But the torque rise, that 14%, that's a fact. Well, I'm impressed. Definitely more powerful than the 23. And we've already got parts for it. You can find everything at bankspower.com.